of y'all, Dan Pondman here. I'm at the Jordan Brand Classic. I'm here with Miles Simon. Uh, many of you might know him from his playing days, but we know him as a coach of the uh, international team uh, for the Jordan Brand Classic. Uh, the reason we have him here today is because I've been hearing a lot of uh, people who are uninformed in basketball, kind of people who are outside basketball fans. I see Memphis hires this like, young, how old is he? Like, 32 now. 32 year old guy to replace Calipari. Like, what are they doing? What are they thinking? What a bad hire. Little they know that he is, uh, in my opinion, in the opinion of many other people, um, potentially one of the future greatest coaches in college basketball. Um, and I heard from some people that there are a lot of stories from Arizona about kind of why he's such an exceptional person. I kind of want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, Josh, Josh is going to succeed at almost anything he does, but probably the reason why he's going to be so so successful at coaching, he, he's just relentless. His work ethic is unbelievable. First, he's going to get players. Uh, second, he knows the game. He's going to be able to translate. And being young, I think, uh, I think coaching has gone you know, the way of more younger guys because they can relate to these guys in the 2000s. And, and Josh is that type of guy. He's a play, I think he's going to be a great players coach where he can understand and sit guys down and, and tell them if they're doing right or wrong and not just uh, sugarcoat things to them, as you, as you say. But, uh, you know, Josh started early on when he was like 15 or 16 coasting, coaching the Houston Hoops AAU program. So he's been doing it a long time. And, you know, he was literally a, an assistant coach at I think age 24, so he had done it for seven or eight years at, uh, between Arizona and Memphis, and it's just been a natural progression, and, and his rise through the ranks is uh, is going to continue to go fast. Yeah, and even as a freshman walk-on, he was doing things with the coaching staff and stuff. I mean, he was helping, he actually helped like myself and Mike Bibby and Jason Terry, uh, Michael Dickerson get in the gym a lot, and he would just rebound for us. Not necessarily that he was coaching us, but uh, he was almost instilling his type of work ethic, like, he didn't care about getting any jumpers up. He just wanted the guys that were going to play to help them along, you know, uh, rebounding for whatever at whatever hour of night, um, you know. And, and I'm sure he, you know, he was always hanging around the coaches' offices, like learning about the scouting reports and trying to break down film and stuff. So I mean, it, it started early with him. Cool. And, and what kind of things, you know? For I know there's a, you know, so many young people who always who want to be basketball coaches. What kind of things do you think? Uh, those kids could learn from a guy like Josh Passman if they want to take that same path. I think the biggest thing is, uh, you know, relationships. Josh has great relationships with so many high school coaches and then AU coaches and then the players and parents. Uh, keep building those bonds and it's going to be able when you're a coach to help you succeed at them because then those people, when they're put in a position to help you, they're going to think back, okay, Josh Pastor was always kind and, and always looking out for me as best as possible, and that's going to help you, uh, you know, help you rise to the top. All right, great. Thank you so much. No problem.